Okay, well, I spent the last couple of days working on this um, motor that I called the two nail motor that I made by just gluing a couple of nails together and making a rotor out of it and then uh, putting a hex nut on it and then putting magnets on it. And uh, I carried a little further, the project a little further, and made a microamp two nail motor and I'm using the same name because it's just um, it was a cute name and I liked it so even though I'm not using the two nails anymore for the rotor um, I'm still calling it the two nail motor um, it's the same uh, complementary transistor circuit that I've shown before um, NPN PNP uh, with uh, just a resistor going into this PNP and then a very fine wire coil for the drive coil and it's 1.15 K and then 40 gauge and then the rotor I went to north south north south all the way around it like S Mark Creations rotor and that turned out to be a real winner and this was the first thing I ran up last night on that circuit. And it ran for five hours on a um, 2.7 volt uh, 6 farad super cap. I got a five hour run time out of that with about three volts in it on that rotor. But it still had too much friction at that point. I need to have a very, very fine point and hardened. And I need to... Um, grind that into a more needle point and make it hard and steel and I built up this rotor today using needles on the uh, wood and this is the uh, the one that really gets the job done it's a hundred microamps on a 1.5 volt source um, you do the math and you see how long that would run on a double A battery but uh, check this out watch watch the LED this thing works like a generator I thought that was really interesting. With that fine wire in that hex nut in the north-south, north-south arrangement here, I get a really, really good generator effect. And you take a capacitor, this is another super cap, it's a 5 farad, and you stick that in there like this, give it a spin, and there she goes, folks. And I don't know how I'm going to end up running this thing, um, what sort of a power source I want to put into it. But I'm looking at different ways. It, it'll run a long time on just a, a little uh, watch battery type thing, button cell. Um, solar cell runs it uh, really nicely. But I'm thinking about this, and I've used this on other projects. This is out of a keychain light, solar powered. And... Um, it's supposed to have a rechargeable lithium, a 3-volt rechargeable lithium, but these aren't rechargeable. These are regular uh, lithiums. Uh, why they put those on there, I don't know, but they was, they're real cheap. But I have to take that off and put a rechargeable on it. But I've used this panel before, and it's enough to charge that or the uh, super caps. And it has a diode, a blocking diode on it, so you don't have to worry about the... Uh, solar panel drawn down the battery or the uh, super caps at night but this warranted the walk around i just wanted to show you because in the dark um, last night when i had this run and it was nice to look over and see this thing at night as a night light and this is something that um, a lot of my projects have this indicator led and um, it makes a pretty nice night light and like i say they they um, show you if it's running and I have to make my motors quiet and the wife won't tolerate any noise so this is a silent one but um, like I say the one last night it ran for five hours I woke up about two in the morning uh, and it was barely running so it was like I say about a five hour run time on that six farad I don't know what this is going to be but um, anyway I just wanted to share that with people that this uh, two nail motor project was an evolutionary project that started um, with that hex nut idea of S Mark Creations. 
and he's the one that I got this idea of doing the north-south around a hex nut. He put a bunch of magnets on each leg, and I'm just using one. And it worked on my project with just the one magnet on the rotor going around. And uh, then with this really, really fine coil wire and this complementary transistor circuit and just a 330K ohm resistor, it, uh, it turned out to be a really uh, a winner. And then the uh, little adjustment arm, that was another major winner to be able to get the tension just right on the bearing. And this bearing is a needle. It's the needle idea running in, uh, in this screw. And you have to use really, really good quality oil. Um, I'm using an old clock, uh, a special clock oil in it. And then uh, a hardened steel needle is what I found that worked the best on this thing. But uh, that's a major winner. I really like this thing here. And when it's not turning, it's not drawing any energy out of the capacitor. There's enough blockage in this whole setup here that it doesn't drain the cap down. So you can leave it alone and come back and turn it back on again and start right up. And like I say, at that amp draw, 100 microamp, you put a couple of volts in a cap like that and it runs for hours. It'd be a great desktop toy for an exec. Thanks for watching.